Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Otis, the new self-titled EP by energetic punk rock-inspired rapper named Otis Julius. Based out of Los Angeles, Otis describes himself as a, as a rapper with a mullet. One look at the album art for this EP tells you where that comes from. Where the heck did he get a pizza chair? Anywho, glancing through the song titles, this one promises to be quite the trip. Grab your Ray-Bans and your fanny pack, cause it's party time! Um, that's in the back, right? Starting in a small town in Idaho and eventually performing in multiple countries, Otis Julius did the only appropriate thing with his stimulus check. Record an album. With beats produced by Lit Kid Beats out of Germany, mixing and mastering done by Ken Dudley, and recording done by Chance at NX Studios, this EP has some heavyweight power behind it. My mind, tell me no! But my pocket, my pocket, tell me yes! Opening up with Hyundai to Ferrari, Otis wastes no time in letting us know what we're in for with this album. With a simple piano riff behind over-the-top lyrics like Stay Grounded, I Got Great Intentions, Even Though Sometimes I Feel So Broke I Can't Even Pay Attention, Listen On The Real, I Got No Complaints, I Lived A Great Life, But I'm Saying A Couple More Zeros Would Be Nice, This One, Like The Rest Of The Album, Doesn't Take Itself Too Seriously. Song number two is Mullet Gang, a synth-flavored track all about Otis's hairstyle of choice, the mullet. Switching up the musical style, we're treated to a more aggressive Otis here that's reminiscent of a more light-hearted Busta Rhymes. The message is funny, but important, with lyrics like, Redneck, broke boy, poor white trash, call me what you want, but music make a splash. I'm here to do it big, here to make retirement, here to do my own thing, ain't nothing make me quit. The shortest track on the EP, this one is still a complete experience. Track number three is, Hi, my name is Kevin, a nice parody of the Christmas classic movie, Home Alone. This one's got SNL skit written all over it. I could totally see Adam Sandberg performing this. If you've been under a rock for the last couple of decades, the movie Home Alone can be summed up by lyrics like, Now Marv lost his shoes and stepped on some glass. Harry torched his head. They both fell on their backs. Now I'm sitting upstairs, not with one paint can, but two. Throw them both. Hit them both. That's just what I do. Potentially homicidal children aside, this one's a banger and definitely slaps. I'm sorry, my kid makes me talk like this. Next batter up is Four Keys, Otis's tips for a successful life. It took me until this moment to realize that Otis raps completely clean. It's an amazing achievement to make art that feels boundary-breaking yet is safe for grandma to hear. What are the four keys? According to the lyrics, they are Find God, love people, chase dreams, stack money. Following on the heels of my realization of Otis's clean rapping, track number five hits us with Kill Him With Kindness. Oh well. A bit more thematic than some previous songs on this album, the aggressive but funny rap is back. This one feels a little more produced and a lot more attitude. With lyrics like, I said it once before and I'll say it again. I hope you're strapped up, sighted in, banana clip, and on a mission. Said it once before and I'll say it again. Compliments rule everything around me to the end. It's clear Otis is all fun and games. Pay attention to the lyrics, and you see he's making just a little bit of fun at gangster rap. Finishing up the EP, Look Mom, I'm a Rapper gives us a little more introspective Otis Julius. Just kidding. Seriously, this is a deceptively simple song that hides a self-deprecating humor behind vocals that call back to the other songs on the album. With punctuating guitar notes and lyrics like, Dream of the sold out shows, but stoked with 60 tickets sold. I'm just a white guy capitalizing on white privilege. It sucks, man, but I guess I made it. I'm thankful for the godfathers of rap. This is the part where I say Wu-Tang forever, cream, and all that other crap. Otis takes the most innocent sounding pot shots at tropes so prevalent in the rap game. You want to be mad at him, but he's just so gosh darn adorable. The best part of this song is the inclusion of fan voicemails during the last three minutes or so of the song, all talking about where they saw him perform. It gives a real authenticity to his music in a way I've not heard before, and I found it touching. Combining elements of classic and modern hip-hop music with the humor of Lonely Island and Bloodhound Gang, Otis by Otis Julius is a fun and funny listen, and a refreshing break from the heavier stuff out there in the world. I can see this being a fun show to be at, I think you'll like it too.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll click the link down below to get your own copy of Otis by Otis Julius. It's a great EP. Um, if you want to be on the channel yourself, hit the link down there for my social media pages and hit me up. If you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. Remember to be amazing. We'll see you next time on Room 6.